Where's my ball at? Here we go. Yes! Yeah! Every day we can lift each other up. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's a bad break. It's a bad break. I want you guys to comment right now and let me know if you guys think drilling a pinky hole will increase my rev rate. And then when I drill an index finger hole, if that will increase my rev rate even further or if every time I drill a hole, my rev rate will go down. I'm, I, I'm honestly pretty curious myself. I wanna give myself enough time to warm up. So now that I'm all warmed up, I'm gonna track my five shots. This is again, the normal grip, the two finger grip. I'm tracking five shots on Specto and then we'll average out the rev rate of those five shots, go back in the pro shop, drill a pinky hole and repeat that same process. So hopefully I give you an accurate reading of my rev rate with Specto here on the lanes and I'll show you guys what my normal rev rate is with a normal grip. Shot number one. Normal strike. Normal strike. 483, that's about right. This is just not going well for me. These lanes are fried. Second shot was 499. Four eighty three, four ninety nine, third shot, four seventy four. Five oh four on that one. And my final shot here. I only have one strike. That's a lie. I said my river was four sixty six on that one. All right, so here we go. My average rev rate is, divide that by five. My average rev rate, it says, according to Specto, over those five shots is 485.2. And now I'm gonna go drill a pinky hole in this ball, and I'm gonna show you guys what my rev rate is with an extra hole in the ball. updated product. Well, again, I'm gonna warm up a little bit and then I'm gonna throw five shots with my pinky, my ring, and my middle finger and I'm gonna leave the index finger open and then after that I'll throw another five, measuring the rev rate again with all four of my fingers in the ball. How's it look? Nope, can't spin it. It is all up the back. Also, I think my rev rate's about 250 right now. Yay. It rev rate's all about getting your hand out of it as quick as possible. I have no directional awareness with this ball. Okay, that hurts my pinky a lot, but I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. All right, so now I'm done warming up and I'm done with these people not subscribing to my channel. If you guys like these videos and you watch them, just, just join in, hit the subscribe button. I'm done warming up and I'm gonna start, once again, I'm gonna start those five shots on Specto and we'll calculate the rev rate. It was 485.2 for a normal release. Let's see how much it is with just my pinky ring and middle finger in it. Actually, I'll let you guys guess. You guys guess right now down below in the comments and then I'll just tell you my guess is gonna be about 450. For five shots, full speed, pinky, ring, middle finger. Let's see what we got. Hit the pocket more often. 471. Oh, that just. Ah. Rev rate update 491 with the pinky so far. I honestly, 
I honestly think I'm throwing it sick right now with the pinky hole. Might need to add it before the tour season. 466 rev rate. Eh. That one was down, that one was down. Tell me that pinky hole ain't rolling sick right now. Also, my pinky's on fire. I'm adding a pinky hole, that's final. 506, let's calculate that rev rate. 506 plus 492 plus 466 plus 491 plus 471. Divide that thing by 485.2. Rev rate did not change to the decimal. Literally to the decimal didn't change. So, so far I'm not adding a pinky hole to my bowling ball. Was I throwing it sick? Yes. Was I striking? Also yes. Am I adding a pinky hole? Absolutely not. But if you guys want your rev rate to be the exact same, you can contact Buddy's Pro Shop and add your pinky hole into a bowling ball. Just make sure you request it to Matt specifically. Say, I want that Packy Hanrahan pinky hole layout. So please do it. I'm also putting my index finger in this time. Nobody does that except for me. So uh, here we go. All four holes warming up. Absolutely ripping on it. That one feels horrible. Pinky hole doesn't feel bad. That one, horrendous. It's so, okay. It's the exact opposite. With the pinky hole, I feel like I roll it a lot more. And with the index finger, it is only 90 degrees of rotation. My hand's like this. Oh my. My tilt goes way down. To be honest, I've thrown three shots. I don't think it's gonna get any better. So I'm just gonna start it up. We're gonna go five shots again, measure the rev rate, take the average. And if it's 482 and a, if it's 485.2, I'm gonna lose my mind. Spent all this time, all this energy. I ruined a bowling ball. And if you guys want this bowling ball, click, just click the subscribe button and I will give you this bowling ball to one of the subscribers off of this video. If my, if my rev rate's not higher, I don't know what I've done. 475. I'm certainly throwing this one the worst. And it's not very close. 485 rev rate on that shot. It just feels weird. The way that it rubs the grip does not feel good. My pinky. Pinky's like, yeah, 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 yeah. 474 on that one. Okay. So far, this one's the lowest rev rate. However, I'm sure this next shot will register at 525 and I'll just be ripping on it. All right, so we got 481 on that last one, plus 475 equals, divide that by five, 477 rev rate, so my rev rate dropped by eight. When I had all my fingers in the ball, my rev rate dropped, not super significantly, but my accuracy, the way it felt, the way it came out of my hands, do not do that. If you're gonna do anything, maybe add a pinky hole, maybe. And now I'm gonna go to North Rock and I'm gonna bowl a complete game using all four fingers to show you guys that even when I throw it horrendous, I might still be able to strike, maybe. So I brought this four-fingered bowling ball to the house shot to see how high the score I can put up here at Seneca Bowl. And uh, yeah, all I have to say is comment down below what you think I'm gonna shoot this game. Remember, this feels horrible. Oh! Once again, I should shoot, I should shoot 300 in this video or I'm a bad bowler. That feels so bad. Well, I figured if it feels bad, it'll probably strike. And it'll wanna convince me into doing it. Flash! I'm also contemplating the fact that I might've ruined a perfectly good bowling ball. I typically don't bowl well here. I usually can get to like 720, but it's a very unconventional like 210, 210, 280.
I do have a plastic ball 300 on video in the center though. I was filming a comparison between my spy and my regular plastic ball. Accidentally shot 300. Strikes are strikes. And that's how all of my strikes look at Seneca. Keeping that move, maybe slowing it down a little bit. Oh, that's so up the back. I've come to the conclusion that I'm the luckiest man alive. It's just that simple. Well, see, here's what happens. With the four fingers, it's just so hard to clear it. The pinky made me roll it end over end every time, no matter what and the index finger made me get all the way around the side of it. So now I'm trying to focus on getting up the back and sometimes I just have no feel because all of my fingers are in the ball. Yeah, it was horrible. I thought it was gonna get four. Fully, fully, and I mean fully ready for that one to eight pin because after a bad shot where you get a good break, there's usually a good shot you get a bad break. Oh! I don't know if you can see through the viewfinder on that one. That one also horrendous. Way left. It, yeah, it was actually, it was good off the hand. Area code to the left. Way left. I need to take a, I need to take a breather after that one. Collect my thoughts, come back, smash a nine pin. I'm ready. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God, that one was my best shot of my career, period. Also, I'm on the front eight and that 300 is still alive. Not that I would do this during a video, but it's a good thing I'm striking because at Seneca, you can't type in the spares when you miss them. Again, I wouldn't do this in a video, but I will say, I haven't missed a seven pin in like two weeks and I've shot a million of them. If I seven pin here, my hands are gonna be like this on the spare. Oh, that's so bad again. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Ah. The hook is free in the city of Wichita. Also, rolling over my index finger, pretty much every shot. I don't know if you can see, but this grip is wet. Who glued that in? My pro shop operator. <laughs> it was me. I figured I'd only use it once, so whatever. You know, that one wasn't that bad in comparison to half of my other shots. The problem is when you throw all of the bad ones, you don't know what the good ones are gonna do. How do I not shoot 300 with that ball? Maybe because it feels horrible? Almost had that one. This is the part where I would type in the spare. Once again, like at the wreck, I said, am I gonna suggest this ball to absolutely anybody? No. If you want to put a pinky hole in for some support though, I've seen a lot of guys do that and I, at the rec, doesn't really change the rev rate a whole lot. The pinky and the regular release were exactly the same rev rate. This one was probably 10 or 15 short of that rev rate. So overall, this is pointless. It doesn't help you get more revs and it made me lose a lot of feel and shoot 260. So if you guys want to shoot 260, go to Buddy's Pro Shop, ask for this layout from Matt Dzigowicz and while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it, thank you. I will catch you guys on the next video, and until then, bye-bye.